This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by our new BFFs over at Bespoke Post. Head on over to bspk.me slash rogue and get 20% off your first order. Make sure to use promo code ROGUE20. R-O-G-U-E. This is work. I'm working. Feels like maybe we should have started with body armor and then learned to do a bunch of dangerous things. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Feels like we should also have an adult. Yeah, that's why we have Kyle Brown, a combat veteran and security specialist here with us. Thank you so very much. All right, walk us through the fundamentals of what we should know about, and I, I made the mistake of saying bulletproof armor, and you very quickly were like, bullet resistant. Yeah, bullet resistant. It's not like, uh, it's not a waterproof watch, it's water resistant. Same thing goes for body armor. You can design a vest that that will stop a bullet, but someone's gonna design a bullet that will stop the vest. Uh, that, that's good, <laughs> I like that. That just got very scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there are different grades, uh, uh, threat levels of body yep. armor. Can you tell us a little about those? Yeah, so you can start with a basic level that's like a level three. Um, they're all tested by the uh, NIJ. Um, they're the uh, group that tests your body armor to decide how resilient it is. So you've got level three, you've got level 3A, uh, you've got level four. Uh, there's also level two, but that's basically like a t-shirt. It's nothing spectacular. Wait, uh, why would anybody wear a level two? I guess because it's better better than nothing? Because it's soft wash Old Navy with a picture of the doors on it and there's <laughs> six dollars. The cops harass you for not wearing a shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. Move along, sir. So a level two armor is going to be something that like an executive protection detail. Say you're a CEO and you want to have a bodyguard that doesn't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, then you want them to wear a suit and they're going to wear that underneath or they're going to wear something like this. This is level 3A body armor. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's got uh, Kevlar fibers inside. Uh, sometimes there's other proprietary fibers, lots of nylon. Uh, this will stop a 357 bullet. That sounds just insane to me. This doesn't feel like it's going to stop anything. Yeah, well, and, and, yeah. and if you feel it, uh, man, <laughs> I, for lack of a better word, the texture, this feels like fruit leather. This feels like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> feel that and tell me I'm wrong. I, I usually don't leave the house without a good healthy layer <laughs> of fruit roll-up <laughs> under my shirt. Okay, but we should note that ballistics are different. I, I guess armor piercing rounds would be what? They would just be sharp stabbies or? Uh, sharp stabbies, and yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay, so, that's what they call them. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, so a, uh, a sharp point armor piercing round, like if someone went up against you with a 308, like from a sniper rifle, that would that won't do anything. Be just like a t-shirt. Got it. So there's there's no stopping. Uh, that's like level four hard armor. That's uh, metal with a ceramic composite. Sometimes they put uh, what's basically like truck bed liner on the outside, which helps with fragmentation and spalling. But now this one specifically says not for use with stabby things. It is not intended to protect against rifle fire or sharp edged or pointed instruments. So you were saying that that there's that's kind of a flaw. Like like there is incredible armor that can resist even like a grenade blast sure. but, but then all of a sudden you just shank somebody and you're 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 out exactly there was a, an armor that was uh, basically made to be ceramic dragon scales and uh, the Marine Corps was super into it and then uh, they found out really quickly that you could just slide a blade right up in between those scales and it kind of nullified the whole reason well, to wear the well, armor. Now you're couching us as the bad guys in this situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. We're trying to protect ourselves from an alien threat here. Yeah, let's be real clear. We are playing Civilization or Age of Empires, <laughs> and we're going to have that moment that all of a sudden, like, you know, a military with body armor comes in, and all of a sudden we're still in the primitive era, and we're, we're throwing flint at, at everyone. <laughs> we want to see if that's going to work. Let's set up Dave with a vest. Yeah. This looks like the end of Die Hard. We just, need, we just need to put a nine millimeter back there. God, this was always my favorite part in any historical video game, the mismatch of technologies. Uh, what, what do you think, Kyle? Do you think this is gonna work or no? Well, yeah, that's a stabbing weapon. I think that's probably gonna... Yeah, it definitely uh, says on the package, not for stabbing weapons. Assuming you can hit it. Yeah, see, you do have a much smaller target. <laughs> yeah. So this I is all think, you. Yeah, that's the size of the taco cat's face and I was never able to hit it. Okay. Are you ready? All right, here goes. You got this. All right, we all clear? Line it up. Let it rip. All right, here we go. No! <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. Oh, so much worse than last time. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh. All right, here we go. For reals, I'm going to get just a little bit closer this time. <laughs> okay. You got this. Three, two, one. No! Mm. No! Mm. Mm. How did I do it and then now I can't do it? 
Also, that went very deep. Please don't be broken. Because we only have a few. It's broken. Oh no! We're on the last one. That's one blade down. That's still two blades. <laughs> I just want to hit the dang thing. It's still going to hurt him. <laughs> it's going to hurt his feelings. <laughs> Three, two, one. Dang it! Oh, uh, I, I mean, you hit him. Uh, Lee, okay, you know what? Let's try a bow and arrow. Yeah, I think that's a good call. I hurt his feelings again. Yeah. I evened out. He's got he's got matching scars now. Yeah. Now his arms don't. I mean, oh wait, uh. never mind. <laughs> All right. This is our last one. Our last razor blade shooting thing. Okay, at this point, I'm worried because we only have one more head. We've already broken two of those when they go flying into the ground. I'm a little bit worried to get too close to that, but but I figure, I mean, what's your comfort level? You don't How trust my you archery skills? <laughs> Come on. I trust my feet and my running ability. <laughs> Not for nothing, Jason, but this is a 30 foot shot and that target is looking very small. I mean, uh, I took archery in college. Did you? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, it, uh, it was 7 a.m., so I didn't usually go. Okay. <laughs> True story. <laughs> oh my God, if you hit this bullseye, that'd be amazing. Oh, yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Oh dear. Oh, hell. Go yep, see, go yep, see. Yep. Hopefully it survived. We're good. I think you could get this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I miss this one, you're up. Oh no. Please hit it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I mean, well, so far it's definitely seems to be effective. Uh, against his face. Just not in the right way. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this works way better than Grocknar's Revenge. Yeah. Oh my god. He's doing the human blockhead, look. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a souvenir for you. <laughs> okay. You're up? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I don't I don't know much about hmm. Okay. <sighs> I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Did it even make a dent? What? Because that was a solid hit. Yeah. Now keep in mind, I didn't pull it all the way back because I'm not good at archery, but I thought it with, with the pokey it would... Where did it hit? Right oh, here. Yeah. You can see it cut through this bit. Mm. Too bad you didn't have one on your face, Dave. <laughs> uh, this did not get anywhere near close to penetrating. Oh, wow. I don't. I don't think even at a full draw, and a dead center hit, this would have done it. Yeah. That's surprisingly effective. Do, do you want to try one more? Uh, yeah, yeah. Bounced. Let's, but, let's, but, let's do it again. Take, take a look at that blade. Blade's still intact. Yeah. All right, you want to? You wanna, sure. You want to see if you can avenge yourself? All right. Let's do this, Barton. <laughs> more Barton Fink. Give it him the hi hat. On. His feelings look really hurts. Okay, look, we got what we needed, which yeah. is to know that primitive weapons are not very good against advanced tactical body armor. But I think we got to we got to see it used the way it's supposed to. I think uh, I think we do. Kyle. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can we trouble you? Shoot this. <laughs> uh, here, I'll call the I'll call the cops real quick. That's a great idea. She said, uh, "Be safe." Cool. <laughs> Perfect. You want one more? Yeah, right in the chest. <laughs> uh, hot damn, that yeah. is definitely destroyed. Bullet holes, exit wounds. There are more holes than the one after it fell off. And inside. <gasps> is it a bullet? A couple of them actually. Oh, look at the way it's just smashed, stopped. That's crazy. Still wouldn't trust my life with that. Absolutely not. 
Maybe against arrows. <laughs> Dude, new sponsor and the perfect time of year for it. I got bespoke post. I got the, it's called the retreat kit, which makes perfect sense because I got a hammock. I love hammocks. Ugh. Oh, that's nice. I like the color on that. Securing the ends with the square knot. Shown on the reverse side of this card. Oh, look at that. They even teach you how to do a square knot. Ta-da. Oh, now we're talking. All right, here's the test. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that is pretty good. You know what, I'm just gonna fold the blanket into a pillow and I'll call Mr. Murphy. Ooh. Let's see. Yo, sir. What's happening? What is this? I'm friggin' sitting in 80 degree beautiful weather with a breeze at 13 miles an hour, sitting in a hammock. What about, what did you get from Bespoke Post? You know how I love getting knives in the mail. <laughs> that, that, that does track. And you know how good I am with them? <laughs> you got a free visit to the ER? Are you good to drive me to the ER if something happens? <laughs> Man, you are on your own on this one. It's got this cool sheath in here, which is, it looks like actual genuine leather. Look at that. It's the forge kit, uh, and I'm opening the blade now. I have yet to see it. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty dope. This is a beautiful blade. Dude, I'm so stoked that we're working with Bespoke Post. Also, that was a tongue twister. They put so much thought into every package. You can skip them, you can trade them, you can swap them, you can pick one up anytime you want. You got choice, you're in total control. That does look pretty badass. Please don't cut yourself. Look at that blade. Is it magic? <laughs> Is this Valerian <laughs> steel? I'll tell you what is magic is you magically get 20% off when you use promo code ROGUE20 at checkout. That's R-O-G-U-E. You just have to go to bspk.me slash rogue. See, that was a magical ad read. That was tight. That was good. See, I'm so good I could do this while swinging from a hammock. I think you should start doing all of our sponsor spots from that hammock. <laughs> you're relaxed, <laughs> you're stylish. Don't you tempt me, man. Bespoke Post is an awesome subscription service. It's 45 bucks a month, but often the boxes are valued at over $70 a month. And you can get 20% off with promo code ROGUE20 at checkout. Soon, Brushwood, soon you will meet your final end and the world will know my name. They will speak of it in hushed tones as they do the great conquerors, Genghis Khan, Loki, Ellen, and I will... Is that, is that a rollerblade? Who left a rollerblade in the middle of the floor?